busy summer of recruitment here at the Hive London for new boss Peter Beadle and his newest recruit Michael Petrasso took part in his first training session yesterday morning at the Hive London. After the session, we caught up with Petrasso to get his thoughts on joining the Bees on a season long loan from York 9 FC. Uh, we're joined on live from the Hive with our new man Michael Petrasso. Michael, thanks for joining us and welcome to Barnet. Just how excited are you to have joined over from York 9 FC? Uh, yeah, like I'm really excited. You know, I'm grateful for the opportunity. Obviously with the CPL season back in Canada ending so soon and obviously having a long break, uh, you know, I was obviously looking for an opportunity to play and, you know, Barnet's given me the chance to come over and, uh, you know, play here and I'm really looking forward to it. After my uh, quarantine time, now I'm excited to be back at the club, uh, well, back at this club and uh, looking uh, forward to going on. Uh, you had your first session this morning with the boys. Just what did you make of your first session under Peter Beadle? Uh, it was good. Uh, the boys were very welcoming. Uh, you know, after I came in and we got to the field, uh, you know, everybody uh, kind of introduced themselves and uh, I met the manager and the manager was very welcoming. And, uh, you know, they just said to, you know, get on and do your best. So I uh, came in. First session was good. Obviously, the boys have played a lot of games in the last week. So it was a little bit light going into the game tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. What do you know? about the National League because particularly this year because of the later start to the season the games are going to come thick and fast uh, yeah well uh, I actually tuned in to uh, a couple of the games uh, previously in the week so I seen they had three and obviously they have a lot more coming and we have a lot more coming so uh, yeah it's going to be tough obviously with six I think it's almost six games a month so uh, but I'm looking forward to it and uh, you know my goal is to get a lot of game time so I'm hoping that all these games give uh, opportunities to all the guys you've got a lot of experience previously in England at QPR and various other clubs. Just tell us a bit about your background and your career to date. Uh, yeah, so I came in uh, when I was about 15. I got scouted playing for the youth national team in Canada. Uh, and I came over to QPR and I was at QPR for, I think, almost seven years. Uh, during my spell at QPR, uh, obviously under very different managers, I uh, got a chance to go on loan to four different clubs, Notts County, Leonorian, Oldham, and uh, one more club, Cove uh, Coventry. So, uh, you know, I had some experiences out on loan and I played for the first team of QPR a couple of times. Um, so obviously those were great experiences and a lot of good players came in and out of QPR when they were in the Prem and in the Champ. So I got to learn off them. And then, yeah, so I was obviously in England for quite a while, I think almost eight years. And I really enjoyed my time in England. So that's why when uh, this opportunity came about and obviously back in London where QPR is. So, uh, you know, I was really looking forward to coming over and here I am now, so I'm obviously really excited. And then after my journey at QPR, I went on to the MLS with Montreal Impact. And I spent the season there. And uh, yeah, I had a good experience playing in the MLS. So obviously a lot of big players come and play from the MLS to Europe. So getting the opportunity to play in that league was really good for me. And I was young, I was only 22, 23 at the time. And then from there, I moved on to the Canadian League, which is a, a growing lead. And obviously it's been growing uh, fast and I play for two clubs there, Valor and New York Nine, which I'm playing for now. And uh, yeah, so I've been uh, been around quite a bit for just turning 25, but uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to a new journey now. You've also had experience at international level when I was looking, you, you seem to score a goal against England at, um, at Bournemouth's ground. Just tell us a bit about the experience of playing for Canada, because that must be a really proud moment for you. Yeah, Canada is one of my like proudest moments in my career. Uh, I started young when I was 14 playing for the under 15s and then moving up to going to the under 17 World Cup in Mexico and uh, that was a really good experience for me and then I moved on to the under 20s and then that's when I played against England here in Bournemouth and uh, I scored late in the game and uh, obviously that was exciting obviously I was playing for QPR at the time so playing against England for Canada playing in an English country was obviously kind of cool and playing against obviously there's a lot of good players on the team for England so uh, that was really good for me and then I worked my way to the under 23s and I played in the Olympic qualifying for Canada. So that was pretty cool. And I was young, I was only 20, 21 from QPR playing on the under 23s. And then I made my first team debut for the national team. And I have nine caps now for the Canada national team. And my last one was maybe two years ago. So obviously looking to build myself back up considering that Canada may be hosting the World Cup in 2026. So uh, yeah, obviously that's uh, my goal one day in the future to be back there. So. Yeah, I think I've had a various amounts of experience with the national team, uh, from youth level to the men's, and I'm also very proud to play for Canada. Uh, for our fans who might have not seen you play before, what would you say your best position is and what kind of attributes do you think you bring to this Barnet team? Uh, my best position is probably either left or right wing. Uh, very uh, 
quick, I would say, uh, with the ball. So uh, I think that's why uh, be my best position. I can also play off the striker and running in behind. So uh, those are my three positions that I've played throughout my career going about. And uh, yeah, I think uh, what I can offer is probably some pace down the wings and dribbling and hopefully get some goals and assists along the way. So I'm just hoping to help the team in any way I can. The boys have had a mixed bag of results in the first three games, albeit against a couple of very, very good sides who will be near the top of the league. What have you made from what you have seen and what are you hoping for for the future going into this season? Uh, yeah, well, I'm hoping, I think the, the boys and the manager, obviously, we want the team wants to try to get promoted. I think that's everybody's goal in the lead and whether that's going first or trying to make the playoffs. And I think uh, that would obviously be the aim and I'm hoping I can help in that way. And uh, I think obviously with the results going one win, one I mean one loss, one win, one loss. And I'm hoping that we can you know get consistent and hopefully get a run of wins and build this back up the table. So yeah, I'm hoping that I can play a part and obviously we'll see how it'll be my first experience in this lead. So I'm hoping that I can learn fast and get involved. Just lastly, our fans obviously won't get the opportunity right away to see you in person owing to the the pandemic and stadiums being closed. But I assume you'll be hoping to show the fans watching at home on Life and Live exactly what you've got when the opportunity arises. Yeah, uh, well, I'm hoping that I can uh, make them proud and hopefully, uh, you know, obviously they won't be at the stadium, but I'm sure they'll be cheering on, uh, you know, through the streaming. So uh, I'm hoping that uh, I excite them when I play and uh, hopefully they uh, enjoy watching. Perfect. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. After falling to a 4-2 defeat at Meadow Lane to Notts County on Saturday afternoon, we caught up with assistant head coach Steve Jenkins to get his thoughts on the match up in Nottingham, as well as previewing tonight's clash with Weymouth. Uh, Steve, looking back on Saturday's game against Notts County, what's your reflections now we've had a bit of time to digest that match? Obviously, still disappointed with the result, but you know, watching the game back yesterday um, and on reflection, you know, it was still positives to take from it. You know, for 60 minutes of the game, uh, of the game we more than matched you know, a quality team. Um, so yeah, take the positives from it now and, uh, and we move forward. From the first three games, we've started slightly sluggishly in matches. Is that something we'll be looking to really eradicate going into tomorrow's game with Weymouth? Oh, massively, massively. You know, any in any game, you've got you, you've got to give yourself a foothold. You know, you can't be conceding goals in the first ten minutes. And it's something that we've talked about. It's something that we you know we worked on. So you know, we've got to start starts now. Um, get followed in the game and then you build from there so yeah it's massively important. The boys bounced back last Tuesday against Dagenham from the opening day disappointment I, I hope I assume you'll be hoping that they'll be showing that kind of character again to fight back on Tuesday night against Weymouth because they did so for 60 minutes against Notts County as well. Exactly so we take this you know the last 60 minutes of that game and, and we look forward to the Weymouth and I've got no doubts you know we got, there's good characters in there I've got no doubts that we bounce back you know we've done it previously but you know, the, the key point for me is is we do want to be keep bouncing back. We want to build on something now. We want to build some momentum um, and we want to pro progress in terms of results um, so we can push forward and, and really develop as a group. We've looked good going forward, uh, in the, particularly in the last two games. How important is that going to be that we are clinical? Because that was sort of the difference between in the EC game and in the Knots game, that they were just ruthless when they had their chances. Yeah, that, that, that's the way it seems to have gone in, in, in those two games. Um, you look at both games and we, like I say, it's there for people to see. We conceded a lot of goals, but you know, outside of that, Lochi hasn't had very much to do. Um, but, you know, the facts are there. We've conceded too many. It's something we've got to address. We've got to address our start. And we've got to make sure that we, you know, we do that from tomorrow. Weymouth here at the Hive, newly promoted side who will be looking to get off the mark themselves with a win. What kind of game are we expecting against them? Difficult one. There's no easy games in this league. Um, they've got a lot of momentum um, with them. You know, having, having two uh, promotions on the bounce, um, and they coming into games probably with no fear because um, there's, there's no press pressure on them. You know, they've done great to get into this league. They want to stay in it, but there's no real pressure on them. I, I don't imagine so. They're going to play freely. They play open. So it's going to be tough, and we've got to make sure that we, that we write. Uh, they haven't scored themselves, but they, they also haven't leaked many goals in their in their opening fixtures. How important is it that we put the onus on getting on the front foot early doors here at the Hive? I hope you wasn't going to say that. <laughs> no, they haven't scored, and uh, you know, looking at the games, 
you know they've created chances. It's just like I say um, they've been really really tight the games. The games that they've had the first three normally goals scored. So they are compact. They're hard to break down. Um, so I envisage, envisage uh, a really really tough game, and we got to be at it. You know, in both boxes, you know, we got to be at it in terms of our press. We got to be at it in terms of our mentality. And if we are, you know, the, it's all about us. If we are, we win the game. You mentioned in a previous answer about momentum. With two home games coming up now, how important is this week to build a bit of momentum? Massively, you know, to get back-to-back wins would would be fantastic. You know, and, and like I say, gives you that uh, momentum as we've talked about. Uh, but it ain't going to be easy, uh, and and you know we understand that. But we approach the games, we pre- prepare for the games in the right way, and uh, like I say, we'll be doing our very very best to get the six points, and then it puts a totally different picture on the, on that league. Then there's improvement coming from the side game by game, and I assume you're seeing that on the training ground as well. But they really are starting to gel together, and hopefully the results should come now. Of course, it's going to take time. You know, it's um, it's a new group. Um, Everybody's learning about each other, you know. Us as coaches are learning about the players and vice versa. The players are building relationships amongst themselves. So it takes time. It's not you can't get a magic wand and you know things change overnight. It is it is a process. Um, we all believe in the process. So when you've got that belief, you know things will things will come, but it will take a little bit of time. But just lastly, how important would a win? against Weymouth be for the boys' confidence to be able to bounce back from knots on Saturday? Of course, of course. Um, you know, when you lose any game of football, it knocks your confidence. But the good thing is, we've only had to wait two or three days before the next one. And like I say, we've come in today, um, the boys being really bright, um, bubbly, the atmosphere's good, and we're going to, in, in, to, in, to uh, tomorrow's game now, uh, really positive and looking forward to it. As kickoff approaches here at the Hive London, it's time to look back at the last time we hosted Weymouth on our home turf. We took on Weymouth in the FA Trophy last year, and now let's take a look at how the action unfolded. 